Yeah, 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 Fanny. Fanny motherfucking Willis. Hey, that motherfucking money that you used to try to prosecute Trump, your motherfucking ass was supposed to be using for these little badass kids and little gangsters down there in Fulton County, in Georgia, you feel me? But nah, your motherfucking ass want to be putting money where ain't got no business going. I bet this on your motherfucking watch. Got to be on your watch. Can't be on nobody else's watch but your watch. Because you the real live fuck up around here. Fanny fucking Willis. Look at this shit, man. This shit could have been prevented if you wouldn't have been playing with them people fucking money. It was chaos and panic on opening day at Six Flags over Georgia after officials say five to 600 people ran through the park fighting. This all led to an exchange of gunfire right outside of the property that sent at least one person to the hospital. Thanks so much for joining us on this very busy Saturday night. I'm Eric Perry. This all unfolding just after six this evening. Fox 5's Joy Dukes is live for us. Joy, all right, you've been working this scene. We see the crime tape and the roller coaster behind you. Walk us through what you're learning. Yeah, Eric, good evening to you. Just absolute chaos, as you mentioned, there erupted here uh, near Six Flags earlier this evening, where GBI officials say they are investigating an officer involved shooting that left one person with a gunshot wound. Now, this all started, as you mentioned earlier there, uh, when Six Flags Park security say that they uh, were met with an unruly crowd of about five or 600 people here uh, inside the park that were running through the property and fighting and they contacted cop county officers for backup while officers were trying to get that that crowd of people off of the property they say those individuals fired at officers who then fired shots back hitting one person and that person was taken to the hospital for treatment we're told no officers were injured but the vehicle was damaged and videos of the incident have been circulating online they show she could have been prevented y'all Randy willis Put your game. Hey, if you, if you don't get disqualified, if you don't get this bar, get your head back in the game, man. Focus back on what you said you was gonna do. You said you was gonna get rid of gangs. You hate gangs. You you came to get rid of all the gangs. So get your head back in the game, baby. From what you can see here, park property, but they say that the culprits seem to be underage kids. Uh, in a statement from a spokesperson, they said, quote, our goal is to provide safe, fun entertainment. It is incredibly disappointing that our community is disrupted at public events throughout the region by groups of underage youth. Just like other venues in the area, we are committed to keeping this type of trouble outside our park and off of our property. Now, we spoke with a woman who lives nearby. Here's what she had to say about the ordeal crazy that a group of kids could be could cause all this it was a real big group of kids i never seen a, a group of kids like that if outside of a high school parents need to just control the kids better probably or step in and make sure the kids is doing what they need to be doing control your motherfucking kids man fanny willis get your head back in the game if you don't get your ass disqualified and disbarred and put to jail bitch Get your head back in the game. You feel me? Stop partying with that boy Nathan Wade, man. Get your head back. Hey, get your head back in the game, Nathan Wade. For real. Georgia needs you. Fulton County needs you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they need you. You feel me? Don't, don't, don't let this little this little shit fuck you up, man. You I think it done fucked you up though. You don't try to go for a money grab. You don't forget everything you're supposed to have been doing. You feel me? You're supposed to have been making sure that the people of Fulton County is safe. You feel me? Like you said you was getting rid of gangs, you know what I'm saying? And then you decide you want to be doing some political shit. You, you want to be trying to put 19 different RICO charges on 19 different uh, defendants, you feel me? <laughs> Come on, man, you tripping, lady. Hey, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Drop a comment or something, man. Let me know. Let me know if y'all think Fannie Willis fucking up the church's money, you know what I'm saying, so that she can uh, pursue a bigger political career, you feel me? They say she wanted to be a judge and shit, that might be her next step. She tried to be a judge. If she can get Trump, she can be anything she wanna be. If she can get Trump, hey, she fucked around. They put her on the vice president ballot and, and let Kamala run, her and Kamala, cause man, Biden done, that nigga done, he's sleepy. He, 
that nigga life expectancy getting real short. His memory, he 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 showing very good signs of dementia. You could just look. Come on, everybody got an old uncle, old granny, old granddad. He 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 reminds you of one of them. I don't had I had a grandmother die from dementia. You know, and the symptoms of dementia, all the other shit that came along with it. He reminds me of her. I'm sorry. Rest in peace, Grandma Marcella. But y'all like subscribe, hit the notification button, man. Hey. We going to the top, baby. We going to the top. Everybody enjoy their night. Have a safe night. Hey, it's almost the weekend, man. One more day. Everybody make it. Please make it to the weekend, man. Please. Please don't fall victim to the... You heard me? Everybody have a good... Motherfucking Thursday night in the weekend. You heard me? I'm out of here, man. SMG Bird talk to me.